Hello viewers, welcome to Elink TV, a station where you watch, you interact and also you learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Nyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in Form 3, Lesson 10. And the topic is uh, livestock production form. And the subtopic is uh, livestock rearing uh, practices. On to the lesson or objectives. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain, uh, state uh, various uh, methods of controlling parasite and disease other than vaccination. And the second one, state any three types uh, of vaccines. Uh, the, second, uh, the second routine management on uh, uh, stock rearing, that is parasite and disease control. Remember, we covered the first one as feeding, uh, the first one feeding as a routine management in the previous lesson. And there are several methods that we normally use to control uh, parasite and diseases. A parasite is uh, an organism which normally uh, live on another uh, organism at the expense of the other. For example, a tick, uh, we have uh, also parasite like the ones which normally causes diseases and therefore they are supposed to be controlled so that you can end up having high levels of production. Then the first method of controlling parasite and diseases is deworming and therefore during the warming you can use appropriate uh, tool uh, to, in, to put the dewormers or to introduce into the dewormers into the livestock. You can see there is a diagram here of a person who is doing deworming in sheep and uh, the person is using a drenching gun to introduce the anti-helmin ticks. And those are the drugs which are meant for, reduce, uh, for uh, controlling worms. Then we have the second one is dipping and this is aimed at controlling the ector or external parasite where chemicals such as acaricide they are used. Then we have spraying, also acaricide is used but in spraying you can use the hand uh, spraying uh, method. Then the fourth one we have pasture management and during pasture management you can use structures such as the paddock whereby you will be uh, regulating the, 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 the paddock or the, 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 the grazing uh, unit uh, using different paddocks and therefore whenever the, uh, the animals are feeding on a particular paddock, uh, the other paddocks should be closed uh, to make sure that the heat of the sun uh, heats the eggs of the, 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 of the parasite and therefore uh, destroying them and therefore breaking the cycle of parasite uh, uh, parasite cycle. Then uh, we go to the docking, that is another one, uh, that's referred to the cutting of the tail or, ta uh, or tailing, it is also referred to as tailing, and the importance of this is to control the blue fly infestation. And uh, the other one we have the hoof trimming, whereby a hoof cutter is normally used to cut uh, the overgrown hooves so that you can control the hoof rot diseases. Then we have dust bath. A dust bath is uh, an example of a dust bath here. We have a uh, pit uh, ash. Uh, we have a pit ash here, uh, or, uh, which is uh, normally uh, provided to the pottery so that they can bathe with it. And the pit ash is, is very, very important because it will kill the parasite, uh, which normally affect a uh, pottery. Uh, then we have vaccination is another method of controlling uh, diseases uh, or controlling the spreading of diseases. Vaccination, you can uh, vaccinate your animal, you can inject uh, uh, the, your animal with a particular vaccine so that you can control the disease from uh, spreading. Then methods of vaccination we have, you can administer the vaccine through injection. As you can see in this diagram, the animal is injected using a vaccine. Then we have the second method, we have oral uh, vaccination. That's where you introduce the vaccine through the mouth. Then we have inheration. Inheration is through the nose and also insertion at the cloaca when it comes to poultry. Then uh, types of vaccines, we have uh, four. 
uh, in the, today's we are going to cover four. The first one you have live virulent uh, vaccine is the one which is administered when the disease causing microorganism. Actually, vaccine is a disease causing microorganism whose ability to cause the disease has been reduced. And therefore, uh, for live virulent vaccine is the one which is introduced when the disease causing microorganism or pathogen is uh, live. Then we have live attenuated is the one which is normally the disease causing microorganism uh, is mixed with some chemicals to reduce uh, uh, its uh, powers. Therefore, it will not affect the animal. And the, the form, in, uh, the, the examples of diseases which are controlled using this uh, method or, or this type of vaccine, we have anthrax and also we have brucellosis. We have killed an or, uh, or dead vaccine. That is why you kill the disease causing microorganism, then uh, you mix it with the formal for mud hide, uh, there's a chemical, uh, then uh, you introduce into the body so that the body of an animal can become stimulated to produce its own antibodies. Then we have the toxoid vaccine, uh, it is in form of formalin, and the, uh, actually once it is introduced to the body of animal, the animal is stimulated to produce its own uh, immunity. Then we have properties of good vaccine, should be uh, good immunity. It should be as good as natural immunity. Then the second one, uh, long shelf life. Uh, the, the immunity uh, which should, uh, the, the vaccine should have a, a, a long uh, keeping shelf life. That is the time, the lifespan. Uh, before it expires, it should be longer. Then single dose should produce lifelong immunity. Then the fourth one, easy to administer. It is should not be complicated when it comes to uh, to introduction of the vaccine into the body. Then no side effect should not harm a, the, the, the animal or also should not harm the farmer who is uh, administering them to the animal. Then compatible with other vaccine. Yes, a good uh, vaccine should should uh, be compatible with other types of vaccine. We have come to the end of today's lesson and we are going, I'm going to give you assignment. The first question define the following terms as used in livestock production form. Uh, the first one is vaccine and the second one is vaccination. Then the second question is highlight any four types of vaccine used during uh, livestock uh, production. Then we have refer uh, reference, you can refer from secondary agriculture uh, book, student uh, book uh, three, uh, that the, the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, you can reach us at Elim TV using the foreign contacts. The first one, we have SMS using that number. Then you can reach us through YouTube, uh, Facebook at Elim TV, and finally, you can tweet us at Elim TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson, goodbye.